In this video, I'm going to show you around the Exclaimer Cloud interface. So, if I hover over any of my signature designs, I have a number of options. Number one, I can click Signature Design, and I could edit this signature, and also click New and create a new one, or save this as a different signature under a new name. But let's close out of here. The option underneath Signature Design, Select Users. Here's where we would decide which users will get this signature. So I could click Add People slash Groups, add in the distribution groups or security groups or Office 365 groups I want to use, or the specific users and even use an advanced query. Let's cancel out of here. And then we have signature rules. So a few options in here. Things like, do I want this signature to apply to emails to everyone? or maybe only on internal emails, or only external emails to customers, to suppliers? Or do I want this signature to not be added when some text is on the message? Maybe if I see my disclaimer is already there, I don't want to add this signature again. And then options like should we look for that in the entire message or just the most recent email? And also, what should we do if we see that text there? If there's a signature already there, should we add nothing? Or should we add a reply signature instead? And then we also have this tab. Do we want to deploy this signature down to Outlook? And if we do, do we want it to be the default for new emails or for replies or both or neither? So it's just usable as an option if people choose to add the signature. And then underneath that, we have a date and time trigger. So if a signature only needed to be shown during a set time period, maybe you're having a, a seasonal event, you could say that this signature starts being shown on a particular date and stops being shown on a certain date. And then we have, of course, the ability to rename the signature if maybe the original name isn't clear enough, or to disable or enable the signature. Maybe you want to just switch it off for the time being. And then options like copying, the signature. So if I need to make a copy or if I need to move it to another folder, if you're using our folders feature, or even if I need to delete it, if it's not right after all, and I need to maybe start again. All right. Thank you for watching.